Well, good morning. I am headed out to town today. I want to show you some things that are going on downtown. There's a farmer's market and a thing called the chalk walk today. So let's go check it out. That's where we're going. Hey, I'm Joe. I'm at the Jasper Farmer's Market. This is our biggest season ever. We have more than 40 spaces handed out to vendors. My wife and I have been running the market for our 10th season, which is this season. We've been here for 11 seasons, but we've been running for 10. My wife, she makes soap and pottery. This was her COVID hobby over here. And we own a shop in Huntingburg on 4th Street. And we have pretty much anything you can find. We got several produce vendors, we got crafts, we got food, we got beef, pork, chicken. I, I can't think of something we don't have here today. Yeah, whenever people think farmer's market, they typically think food and produce, yep. right? And that's not what this is. No. This is. We've a lot more than all. that. Yeah, we we find people come to the market for the food and the produce. Okay, and we've got plenty. Of, like I said, we got breads, muffins. Only thing I don't think we have is croissants, but everything else we got. We got even oatmeal cream pies. Dora <laughs> started making those this year. Pretzels, and then we find that people do that, but they don't want to just leave. So they hang around for a while and they'll look at the crafts and stuff like that. And I, I tell everybody that this is like a family reunion every Saturday, except you like these people. <laughs> so how long does this go? Uh, it's from eight to 12 every day, and then we started Memorial Weekend, and we'll run for 20 Saturdays. Hey, I'm Chris Dixon. I'm originally from Mississippi, but now I live in the beautiful town of Jasper, Indiana, which is where I make all of these products. I make them at my house right here in the middle of Jasper. I take these pretty strips of maple and put angles on them to make these Kumiko panels. I do a lot of wood turning on my lathe to make bowls and boxes. I'm uh, actually turning on my lathe today for the kids, showing them how to make spinning tops. And it's fun. We got sawdust flying. It's a great time. Yeah. All right, well, I've in less than 15 seconds. 15 I can turn seconds. it from a square into a cylinder, like a circle, right? Okay. All right, you gonna count for me? You gotta count to 15. Right. Tell, tell him when to start. You'll know. All right, let me, let, you tell me when to start. Yep, start. One. No time at all. 
That's who I learned from. Well, it's been in my family for a generation. Yeah, I'm grateful for it. Yeah. But this is called a wood lathe, little man. So when you get a little older, you can be like, Mom, Dad, Grandpa, Grandma, I need a wood lathe so I can make my own toys. They'll be like, well, that's an investment, but it'll be worth it. Yeah. All right. I bet we're about two minutes away now from a fully finished spinning top. All right. This is the fun part. This is where we start hogging it away. You know what I mean? To hog something away, we're gonna hog it away. Getting up on lunch time, aren't we? Yeah. Alright, we gotta make this top part real thin, right? Real, real thin. So the thinner we get, the more careful we gotta get because we don't want it to break, right? Alright. We're getting there. I bet we're less than a minute away. minute away from going from a block of wood into hours of endless entertainment. Wow. Hours of endless? Yeah. Woo, we gotta get it real thin. You think we can go thinner? I bet we can go a little thinner. Woo! We're pushing it. Woo! Can you believe it's starting with that square piece of wood? Just like that. Or top. Pop this off just like that. Pop the thing, pop the boom, little sandpaper. Grab a saw. Bang. No time at all. I'm Molly Rupert and I work volunteer registration at Chalk Walk. I've been doing that for a very long time and um, I love being at the Chalk Walk, especially on a day like today when the weather is beautiful. It's super fun to see all the little kids running around and they're so excited about their balloons and their crafts and um, of course the chalk and I hope Andy's going to go around and get some of these squares because they are just stunning and it's really amazing to see all of the artistic talent and to have that outlet. So the thing about the both the uh, farmer's market and the chalk walk. So the farmer's market happens once a week and the chalk walk happens once a year. And those are both things that really bring to people together and bring the community together. And I think that that is something that we've really, at least I have, missed in the past year is that community of bringing people together and you know being a part of something and you know in addition to seeing all the great um you know artwork that we saw um, just seeing everybody together coming together and and doing something so so neat and so unique. I think it's just a, 
it's great and I am so excited to see our community coming back together. Today reminded me that I've been missing, I've been missing community and I needed to have that in my life and today I'm very grateful for community. I'm grateful for you for being a part of my community, my online community. Um, I'm grateful for the people in the happy people community because that is a community of people that comes together to spread joy. I'm grateful for all of you who are uh, members of the happy people community and I'm grateful for um, anybody who just partakes in the community itself um, whether that be you know through the schools or through the churches or you know through events like we saw today it's just it's it's great it's great and I am thankful for all of you and uh, if you want to belong to the happy people community I will include a link down in the description um, I'm gonna include links to all of my social media you can follow me on all my social media you know I'm, I'm active on Twitter and Instagram and I'm also active on TikTok and so you could follow me on all those places I'm grateful for all of you and yeah I'm gonna get off of here so that I can show you a little bit more of the area that I'm in as we leave here and I hope that all of you all of you Stay happy, friends.